David Wowie from Another Eden Adventures, how are ya? Another Eden Japan just celebrated their 6th anniversary in front of a live audience of about 600 billion trillion people and man there were some huge announcements including 7 new units. During this event they showed 2 exciting trailers as well as scenes with actual voice acting between Aldo, Fine and Ashtir. <laughs> Man, I would love for them to introduce more in-game voice acting. For those of you who watched or skimmed through the stream, you may have been like me and wondered what on earth they talked about in these cutscenes. To help you out, I've used AI to translate these scenes for your convenience. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help this community grow and check out the Another Eden merch I've linked below just like this art book and hoodie. Grabbing these will give you joy and support this channel. So back to the trailers. Because they're not translated by professional translators, I'll play them for you now and provide some commentary for each one, which could give us some hints on what to expect in the future of Another Eden. For those fluent in Japanese, feel free to correct any mistranslations in the comments below. Here is the first video, which played near the start of the anniversary event. そしてやめろ。みんな頑張ったわね。二人とも。旅の途中で多くの傷を負って。いろんなものを失ったはずなのに。ああ。それでも俺たちは前に進んできた。仲間と共に戦ってきた日々が共に歩んできた一瞬一瞬がいつだって俺の背中を押してくれたからあなたたちいい仲間に恵まれたのねうんそれに今はお姉ちゃんもいるから私が来たからには向かうところ敵なしよ誰も叶わないからな姉ちゃんにはそれじゃ行きましょうえ待ってるよみんなさあ時を超えてはるかその先にみんなの想いとともに in this clip, we see an anime style scene of Aldo, Fine, and Ashtir riding in the Shore Runner train that was introduced to us in part 3 of the main story. This scene puts us in a literal train ride through time, 
We see key artwork from the main story, Ogre Wars and Tales from the East, as well as the Mythos and Apocrypha series. I have a feeling there are some errors in translation here as Ash T says she hopes the siblings get hurt on their journey. But wouldn't it be funny if she actually did say that? What's interesting is that Ash Tear also mentions Madoka as her other half. What do you all think it means? After all, Ash Tear slash Luca was quoted as one of Masato Kato's favorite characters in Chrono Cross. And even if there are blips in my translation, the creators must have chosen Ash Tear as the character to be chilling with Aldo and Fine and not anyone else for a reason. Sorry, Amy and Cyrus. This trailer was then followed by this next clip of Aldo, Fine, and Ash Tear back in their hometown, Barawaki, attending a festival. それはそうよ。確かにな。最近は俺も村を留守にしてることが多いし、今日は思い切り楽しみたいな。仲間もたくさん増えたよな。そうだったらいいな。The first thing that stood out to me was although the scene was presented with in-game graphics, the dialogue had actual voice acting. On top of that, it's filled with a bunch of fun little character cameos. And if you look closely, you'll see our boy Samora, baby! Also, for anyone who's caught up to the main story, notice how the statue isn't a statue of Aldo? Hmm. The clip then continues later in the evening with this. <laughs> え、書きに芸術家に銀融詩人。どの人も才能に溢れてたよな。さっき書いてもらった似顔絵、宝物にしちゃおうっと。ああ、後でじいちゃんにもすごいものを見たって自慢しよう。なあ、明日や姉ち
今年も村尾さんに何か贈り物をするのうんこのお祭りの日はおじいちゃんと家族になった特別な記念日だもんだけど何をあげるかはまだ決めてないんだよなお祭りを見て回りながら考えるのもいいんじゃないそうだねおじいちゃん何をあげたら喜んでくれるかななんだって喜んでくれるわよ村尾さんにとってあなたたちは大切な家族なんだから<笑>ありがとうお姉ちゃんそれじゃあもう少し会場を回ってみるかうんそのシーンは非常に自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の自分の They then go on a quest to find a gift for their grandpa. Before they continue this little adventure, our hosts show us a trailer for the next and final part of the Apocrypha series. Someone who's played through both the main and Apocrypha content so far, I've got to say, it got me emotional. It also raises a bunch of questions. So here's a clip. それを生み出した私の罪は始まりは遠い未来にあった滅びゆく人類をつなげようとした未来から過去に連なる歴史の輪その最後のピースが私いびつな願いはやがて。全てを狂わせていく探しているのは命をくれた私の神をやっと分かったわノーナ私はあなたの。未来を選ぶことはできるからだから選んでみせるよ君がまた笑ってくれる未来を最初からみんなつながってたのねこの結末を迎えるために結末はきっと一つじゃないだけどそんな結末俺は認めないありがとう手を伸ばしてくれてでももう十分なんだ何度やり直したってねきっと私はこっちを選んでたと思うから。私のこと忘れないでなんてもう言わない全部全部覚えてるいつか君が私を忘れても For anyone who watched this live, a lot of people were both very excited and confused by what was shown. I mean, who on earth was the chick with the silver hair? A female Klate? Nona AS? Samora Alta? Later in the evening, it was revealed they were two new units. The silver haired character is a new unit named Sesta, and the Lady Himika lookalike is none other than Nona, another style! I'll be releasing a video with more details on the new units announced, so subscribe to my YouTube and Facebook pages to stay tuned. The trailer starts off with Nona gazing at a cool montage of each world in the Apocrypha series so far, then does a massive teaser of what kind of stuff that's expected to come. 
There are plenty of theories about what it all means so far online, with some of the main ones being that Nona Nova Style is an alto version of Lady Himika slash Madoka, or that her mother is an alto version of Lady Himika slash Madoka. And if that's the case, is Nona like an alto version of Aldo? And if Nona is like an alto version of Aldo, will Aldo also have a raunchy thigh tattoo? Who knows? And who are those space people? I'd love to know your theories, share them below. After this clip, there's about an hour of announcements of the new characters, game mechanics and music scores we can expect from the game. They end the night with a final clip, which we will see here right now. あげたいものがたくさんあってうん。今まで出会ったすべての人たちが私たちを支えてくれてる。きっとここまで来られなかった。それじゃあみんなと出会えたことのお祝いもしなくちゃね。ここに集まってくれたみんなへのプレゼント何がいいかな。ああ、それこそいつまで経っても決まらない気がするな。ああ、でもプレゼント